I think failure stays with you longer than what success does, and, and we're here celebrating, obviously, a win, but I think about 98 more than I do any other game. So I think we fell at least one short. Um, 97, we had reasons, I think. Uh, you'll agree, Dennis, we had a lot of injuries that year, uh, suspensions as well at the wrong time. So I think 96, 97, 98, we were the best team in the comp. We won one premiership and probably won one this one, uh, maybe when we weren't necessarily the best team. So uh, a lot of luck's involved. It was. You know, 94 was a year, I think, back. And, you know, I, I think of that game against Geelong and Wayne kick six. We got beat. I, I'm, I'm confident that we would have uh, beaten uh, uh, West Coast in the... Uh, in the final there, it wasn't to be. Um, we had our chances. Uh, you know, 95 Carlton were far superior. Uh, 96, yeah, we won it. But 98's the one that sticks with you. We, we were the best side. But the best side doesn't win. The best side on the day does. And Adelaide were. And uh, we wasted a golden opportunity. And I was just watching a, um, a few highlights just recently. The first time I even looked at it, saw the bloke standing next to me, fiddling around with his left foot, kicking around corners, I think, too. Is that, is that what we, we lost it? <laughs> no, um, I certainly didn't kick straight, but yeah, that, I mean that game. That game, I think about more than any other game, and because it's, it's a premiership that got away. So, but I won't think about it today. I can assure you of that we'll, we'll no. celebrate this one well. And it was good that we were able to bounce back in '99 uh, and uh, and win it. Essendon were the best side in '99, and you know I can remember going to the Brumby final with Tony Elshaw. We sat down, wrote reams of notes on Essendon. And then the last couple of minutes, everything changed and couldn't get out of there quick enough to sit down and have a, uh, have a, a recheck about everything we, we'd seen. So our guys were great. And it was just, you know, you, I don't think people realise, and I remember Kevin Chudy saying to me uh, when I was his assistant in 92, he said, I'll, I'll tell you what, Pagan, you don't know how, how hard they, they, these, uh, these uh, premierships are to win. And it hit me right between the eyes and you think, gee, OK, we would have loved to have won one more and maybe we couldn't, but we won two out of three. If you keep going at uh, 66%, you won't be far off the mark. You're not going to go at 100%. It just doesn't work like that. I think it was a very unique situation, to be honest, the whole, the whole build-up, given that Dennis was the under-19 coach for a long period of time. He'd coached all of us country kids, interstate kids, through the 19s. We'd obviously ha we'd had a relationship and a bond from then. And then for Dennis to, you know, go away for a little period and then come back as a senior coach, there was already that there was already that bond. So unique in a lot of ways. And yeah, we were we were close off the ground. We 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 mixed a lot. We went everywhere together. And um, I was just saying to Dennis before, although we did have a good time, don't worry. The coach knew everything that we were doing, and he had an eye on absolutely everything he knew, where we were, what time we got home. Um, let us, let us. He let us bend the rules a little bit, but when it, when it was time, he he pulled us back in. Well, you know, the, the boys used to play hard, um, but the first thing Monday morning, they were there. They used to train hard. Wayne was at the front. He was showing the way, and they could have had a thousand beers on the weekend and come up on Monday morning and just train like there was no tomorrow. And one of the byproducts of uh, socialising and having a good time was the unity, and all the boys were together. And, and it was a great camaraderie, and I reckon it was one of our greatest strengths. Even that, going out for lunch during the week at Don Camillo, 40 blokes would go in there. It, it was just a, a valuable lesson in life. We're all on the same page, and it's very hard to keep that for eight or nine years. But, our, our, you know, sure, there were a couple of sooks and whinges on the way, but we were together for a long while, and it was our greatest strength. And everybody cared about everybody else. On and off the ground, we had great staff, and, and I reckon everybody could learn from the fact that, you know, the, the greatest asset any organisation ha can have is the people who work there. We had some wonderful people who worked there, you know, we mixed that with our players. It was just about the perfect ingredients, I reckon. Whether you can ever capture that again, I'm not sure. But that's what it was like during the 90s, in my opinion. Yeah, we were, we were too scared not to train hard because if we, <laughs> if we didn't, we would, have, we would have got a cook. There was a distinct time where we were down at Geelong and we were training hard, we on a training camp. I took the boys out for a few drinks that night. I might have stayed longer than the rest. So I'd had a pretty big night and we were sleeping in the gymnasium. The next morning we are doing the beep test, a fitness test. And I must have looked as if I'd had a fairly late night. And I remember the look of looking at me saying, I've got you now. 
and I did 15 and a half on the boot test. So he just said, well done, son. <laughs> so, so, you know what I mean? He, he knew what I'd done the night before, but the fact that I then broke my PB on the beat test, it was like, well, what can I say about that? So it was, well, it was, was move on. It had the headlights on the car when you <laughs> No, that was another night. No, was it? <laughs> Dennis won't say it, but without Dennis Pagan, and he, he'll get embarrassed of me saying it because he's standing here, but we would not have had that success. I, we were a group that needed a strong coach, a really strong coach, knew how to get the best out of a lot of us. He broke a couple, but I tell you what, he made more than he broke. And, and we needed that. And I think if we didn't have that, we would have walked all over someone weaker. And therefore, I don't think we would have had the success that we had. So, um, and I hope that doesn't embarrass you, but that's how I truly feel about it. Wayne uh, was as good a leader that anybody can have. Not just bringing the boys together, you know, even to the point of football trips, season's over, young rookies not being able to uh, afford to come Wayne and pay their way, and just making sure... I was, the getting, group... I was getting paid a little bit more than them, so I thought it was the least I could do. Well, you, but <laughs> it, it necessarily doesn't, well, it doesn't necessarily yeah. mean you should do it, but that was our greatest strength. We were together, and there was a real unity within the place, and, you know, there was a real uh, sense of belonging, uh, and everyone made a contribution, and you know, if you didn't play in the first, there were still guys who were who were playing their part. The staff were playing their part. I just don't think you can manufacture that again now. Well, for me, it was all about it was all about redemption. It was all about you know we, we lost in '98, so you know that that fire in the belly was was there for me, and I know for obviously the, the rest of the group, and we put ourselves in a position again to to challenge for the premiership. So. For me, you know, session after session, um, that was the that was the focus, and I can remember you and I, Dennis, having to get up after the '98 um, loss yeah. back at the function, and and I remember us saying, "We we promise that we'll win next year." And so you give that sort of promise, and you, you you know you probably can't keep it, but you know what? It was a promise that we promised, and we delivered, which uh, you know, very very proud of. It's funny, you know, you say that it was about redemption. I can't remember what a, we used to have a theme at the start of the year. I can remember after '99, it was survive your own success. I can't remember what our theme was at the start of '99, but it, you know, I, I can remember we we're doing some recruiting and we um, tried to get Wayne Campbell to come to the club. Greg and I and Jeff went to see him, and I kept on saying, "We're in the flag this year. You should come." And every time I see him, he brings it up because he's never he never played in the Premiership. Thanks for joining us, guys. All the best. Cheers. Thank you.